Hey there! Welcome to Life Noggin. Roughly 60% of Americans drink coffee every day. I usually only have two or three cups, but what would happen if you only consumed coffee? How will your body react? Could you overdose on coffee? Well, as with any other wacky hypothetical, we here at Life Noggin wanted to find out. We have our friend Craig, aka Wheezy Waiter, to help us. Also, please don't try this at home. Thanks. Yeah, we'll be putting my clones through this. Nothing bad's gonna happen to the real me, isn't that right, Blocko? Oh, he's already in the next screen. This is cup number one of the day, and for the sake of this scenario, we're going to consider one cup of coffee as eight ounces. Craig won't be consuming anything else. After the first sip, the coffee is quickly absorbed by the gastrointestinal tract. Caffeine is a central nervous system stimulant, and as it spreads throughout the body, it boosts production of certain chemicals in the brain, making Craig more alert and energized. If you're one of the unlucky 30% of coffee drinkers who poop more from coffee, you'd probably be needing a break from whatever it is that you're doing. It's thought that, for these people, coffee prompts increased acidity levels in the stomach, speeding up the digestive process. At this point, I'm feeling super alert and focused. Work is a breeze, since coffee boosts serotonin, dopamine, and adrenaline levels. But I'm also feeling the negatives, a quickened heart rate, raised blood pressure, increased respiratory rate, and eye twitches. My motor learning is diminished, meaning motor skills like typing are more difficult, and my brain is experiencing decreased cerebral blood flow. It's not getting the blood it needs to function at its best. I'm also feeling super anxious and jumpy. So don't sneak up on me! Let's say Craig has had 8 cups of coffee so far, equal to about 800 milligrams of caffeine. The FDA has noted that up to 400 milligrams is a fine amount of caffeine for the average person, which isn't really that much, especially if your diet only consists of coffee. Craig's excessive caffeine consumption has led to headaches, nausea, restlessness, and muscle spasms. Plus, each cup of black coffee has about 5 calories, so he feels like garbage, and he's starving. Isn't this fun, Craig? By what would be bedtime, I've drank 15 cups of coffee and will definitely not be sleeping tonight. This is way over the recommended daily intake, which leads to the question, could I overdose on coffee? Could I? Blocko? Can I do that? Never mind, I'll answer this. Caffeine overdose can induce comas after about 5 grams of consumption, but one study found that just 1 gram a day significantly increases your risk of sudden cardiac arrest. Less severe effects include fever, trouble breathing, convulsions, and cardiac distress. <sighs> What about long-term effects of coffee? These are often debated, but regular consumption has been linked to reduced risks of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, type 2 diabetes, and even some cancers. It's also been found that moderate daily intake cuts suicide risk by almost 50%. But the long-term effects aren't all great. You could experience cardiac malfunctions, ulcers, hallucinations, infertility, and maybe even diminished function of your prefrontal cortex. No one knows for sure how much coffee is deadly. One 30-year study found that drinking more than 28 8-ounce cups of coffee per week leads to a 50% increased risk of death in young men and about a 200% increase in young women. So keep that in mind on your daily trips to your favorite hipster coffee shop that gets your name wrong. Well, come on, it's not Greg. It's never Greg. So how much coffee do you drink? Is it a normal amount? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much to Wheezy Waiter for helping me with this episode. He's been making consistently amazing videos here on YouTube, and I'm sure you're gonna love his stuff. Go check him out and tell him Blocko sent you. Wheezy Waiter videos, the definitive source of all the knowledge in the world of Wheezy Waiter videos. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.